Greetings, this is Matt Fiello, Technical Marketing Engineer with the Cisco Cloud Networking Compute VU. And we're back with another Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Ethernet Network Group Policy. Uh, this is one of our server policies. So this will be included, uh, actually embedded in the LAN connectivity policy, uh, which becomes part of our server profile template or server profile. So as usual, we're going to introduce some slides and discuss about the policy uh, and then follow that up with a short demonstration. So let's get to it. So before we start talking about the Ethernet network group policy, I'd like to introduce uh, InterSight Infrastructure Service server policies in general. So there's 38 total server policies. And of those uh, 38 total policies, we're really focusing in this uh, playlist and series on the InterSight Manage Mode or FI Attached uh, server policies. So there's 29 of those. Uh, the highlighted policies you see, we will not be discussing. They're largely standalone C series policies. Um, and a few can be uh, also uh, domain policies as well, like uh, NTP. So as we focus in on the Ethernet network group policy, you can see that we're in InterSight infrastructure service uh, policies, uh, UCS server policies, and then selecting uh, Ethernet network group policy. The Ethernet network group policy is the policy that allows you to build out your VLANs that you want to attach to a particular VNIC. So you can almost view this policy as building a VLAN group to attach to the uh, VNIC, one or more. And of course, you can build out different Ethernet group policies with different VLANs and attach them to the different VNICs according to your particular use case. Um, this policy exists here in server policies, but it also exists in domain policies. Now, the only time you would use this on the domain policy side of the house is if you were in a disjoint layer two uh, use case. In other words, you're uplinking from the fabric interconnect to two different layer two broadcast domains. Now, within the policy, you'll see a field for allowed VLANs. So that needs to be populated with each and every VLAN that you want to ride on that particular VNIC. You also um, will need to make sure that any VLAN that you add to the, to the Ethernet network group policy or the VNIC is also being uplinked on the fabric side of the house with the VLAN policy and domain policies. And there's also a native VLAN option as well. And that's going to be set to one as default. Okay, but that could change depending on um, what your default VLAN is. But that's basically uh, going to be your path for any untagged uh, packets uh, egressing out of that VNIC. Okay, so this policy is not absolutely mandatory uh, for you to deploy a server profile down to uh, the server. But it is a policy you absolutely want to configure, or else you're not going to have the right VLANs on your, your VNICs uh, and your LAN connectivity policy. So uh, you definitely want to configure this policy. Uh, you will be populating uh, the policy with the applicable VLANs. Uh, you could consider uh, building multiple policies and kind of treat them as VLAN groups to be subsequently attached to the different VNICs in your LAN connectivity policy. Uh, in most cases, uh, to support high availability and failover, you're going to want the same VLANs um, being uplinked out of Fabric A as well as Fabric B. So in, in most situations, you can use the exact same policy um, for Fabric A and Fabric B. As far as verification goes, you can log into the Fabric Interconnect Secure Shell in, uh, and you'll have to do it A or B respectively. Uh, connect to the NXOS shell, and then you can run a show VLAN brief. And you can see down here that uh, when I do that, I have VLAN 180 on the right-hand side here, 
and uh, I can see that it's riding on the following beats. Uh, beat 815 uh, is one of those uh, beats. Well, you know, to kind of start off, you might want to say, well, you know, from either a server hardware perspective uh, or a server profile perspective, you could do either. If you do show run int and then apply the appropriate filter here for either the, uh, the, uh, the system ID of the server or the server profile name, um, the output here shows you uh, for a given uh, VNIC, in this case VNIC 0, okay, uh, what, what my VEATH is, and it's 815. So that's how I can connect the dots there between uh, a given VNIC VEATH, uh, which is in my case VEATH 815, and prove that uh, VLAN 180 is, is running over that VEATH or running through that VEATH. And as with all IMM expert series videos, I like to show a graphic slide that shows the relationship between uh, the server profile template uh, and ultimately the policy uh, in question. So if we look on the left there, the server profile template, uh, we, we can attach a LAN connectivity policy directly to that template. But that LAN connectivity policy has embedded policies. Okay, so when we go to add a VNIC, to that LAN connectivity policy. Then the policies on the right here, the embedded policies uh, are, are selectable, okay? One of which is our Ethernet network group policy. Okay, so here we are in Intersight uh, for our demonstration and uh, I'm at infrastructure service. I'm at policies and I'm gonna create a policy and I'm going to filter down on my server policies and select Ethernet Network Group. Let me give it a meaningful name. Click Next. Now, here in the allowed VLANs, I have to populate in the VLANs that I want on that uh, particular VNIC uh, that's going to access this policy. Okay, so I can individually type them in comma separated i can do that um, or i can i can simply do a range and of course this is a native vlan by default it's one but that could change uh, depending on what your organization uses uh, so if you do not know consult your uh, your network administrator and again this would be for untagged uh, 802.1Q traffic, untagged traffic, and then click create. I'm going to refresh our screen. Actually, it was right there. And that completes our demonstration. And that completes our video about Ethernet network group policies uh, from a server policies perspective. I sure hope you were able to learn something. Um, stay tuned for more Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series videos. Thank you.